the recommendations that the IGF could produce don't have to be made using an intergovernmental type process. Um, we don't have to say that the outputs that come from the IGF would have to be uh, outputs of the member governments and the member uh, companies and uh, civil society organisations that attend the IGF. Rather, they would simply be recommendations of the IGF. They wouldn't be recommendations of, of its members individually. So we don't have to regard this as inevitably an intergovernmental process. Um, we can remake the IGF. In fact, now is a pivotal time. We have a second chance to really get the IGF right because this is the time when we're renewing, we're considering whether to renew the IGF's mandate after its first five-year term. So we can really remake the rule book and we can, we can see what has worked and what hasn't worked and say, look, if we're going to renew the IGF, which we think we should, there should be some changes made. Um, and, and it is possible to have uh, an, an informal um, group or body such as the IGF, which comes out with recommendations that are made in a multi-stakeholder way. 